What's up guys? This is Seth from Dark Waters Fly Shop. Uh, we're gonna do something kind of interesting today. Um, if you can tell, I'm walking through the middle of town here. I actually just left the fly shop a little bit ago. We just closed down and my vehicle's in the shop. So I couldn't drive to one of my super secret locations, right? Um, and I get a lot of people that come in the fly shop on a regular basis that want to know where to fish. And many of them scoff when I tell them to fish the river that runs right through the middle of town. Um, and I think that they must think, oh, that's silly, you know, right through the middle of town, can't be any good. And I get a lot of people that really kind of don't buy it. So what I'm gonna do today, uh, which goes against a little bit of what I normally do, I try not to disclose locations or anything on my YouTube channel, but um, we're gonna fish the river that runs right through the middle of town. All right, so, for the record, we are literally in the middle of town. Like, the property that I'm against right now is commercial property, and I'm seeing fish rising right now. There's a fish that just rose right by these bushes, right there, you see that? This is what we're talking about. People think that because a fly shop owner says, no, really, you can go right in the middle of the town, that he's full of it. But the reality is, is that you literally can go right in the middle of town and catch fish. Another thing that I hear a lot, especially here um, in Iron County, is that you cannot fly fish in this river because it's too small. Well, wet my hand. I would just like to say that I traveled last night 15 miles out of town to fish a historically acclaimed river and I did not catch any fish this pretty. This right here is right in the middle of town. We're fishing. And uh, so just, there's one. That was literally my, one, those casts that you just saw there were my first casts. I'm watching fish rise up there. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention to this guy. Just don't let anybody tell you that it's easy walking through this stuff, because it's not. So none of these fish have been real big yet, but I'm also fishing still in the day, you know? I'm not really, sun's not even going down yet.
What's up guys, this is Seth from Darkwater Supply Shop. Um, this is kind of day two. I wasn't expecting to do a second part to this, but my vehicle's still in the shop. And um, I was just thinking about the video that I did yesterday and I wanted to do another one just to verify, even on a, a day that is probably not that um, good for trout fishing, like fly fishing especially, like it's, it's a very bright sunny day, it's a cold day and it's windy. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just show that even in some of the poor conditions that you have, fishing right in the middle of town uh, would, can really be successful. So I'm gonna be throwing some streamers today, um, downstream, I'm swinging them downstream. This is the ZH2O. I have another pattern uh, or another video that you can go to where I've tied some of those. Um, I'm gonna be using a couple different colors. Um, I'm just guessing that that gold is actually going to be the color today. I don't know why. I'm just feeling it. So I'm going to put on the uh, white one first, and then if nothing happens, I'm going to switch to that gold color. Let's see what happens. Okay. There's number one for the day. Took it right there. And about an eight incher. Maybe seven. Hungry little bugger. Took that took that white streamer. First one right off the bat. Let's see if we can get some more. Little, little beaver right there had a hit though right next right next to where I saw that beaver and there's one just took a dry that's a nicer one right there All right, guys, I'm gonna show you this fish. Very, very tall, very tall fish. That's a pretty serious brook trout. So, you guys literally watched me fish a couple hundred yards of river and I am literally in the middle of town um, catching fish. So if you come into a fly shop and ask the guy behind the counter where to fish or the gal behind the counter where to fish, if they say something like, man, this river, fish it. And you're like, well, where? And they say, the whole thing's good. You can believe them, um, at least at our fly shop.